Oh snap, what's that? A double upload? This is like mega upload 20. Uh, I don't know. Okay, anyway, this I'm gonna do a gaze ribbon. Um, <laughs> I got a gaze ribbon. So, you know, I'm not gonna make any sort of joke about gaze. Okay, um, obviously, I'm gonna run PAX Charge. You can run PAX Seeker if I don't know you manage to actually get a headshot and you manage. And the headshot actually does decent damage. I've tried it, it doesn't do any damage, okay? Terrible damage, by the way. I think they might have nerfed it. I don't know. Obviously, I'm going to use pack free charge because you get infinite ammo. Infinite ammo in end game is so good. I'm not going to lie, dude. I love it, you know? Because it's just so easy. You get your ammo reloads automatically. You can shoot an enemy, get easy status procs. You can do melee, kill them really easy. So, obviously, packs charge good in pretty much any situation. Um, first off, though, <clears throat> I went with Gay Splat Haymaker. I know there's some other combinations that give you more range and all that. You know, you can get more range. Hey, man, screw that crap, dude. I don't give a crap about the range, okay? Dude, I, sh I have like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's hitting that wall or not. I can't even tell. Spawn an enemy. Just to see how far away I can actually shoot him. Okay, so he's. Let's see if we can shoot him from 30 meters away, okay? First off. No. Let's see 25. No. Let's see 20 meters. Okay, so 20. Let's see 21. Okay, 22. So it seems like 21 meters is the magic meter distance. You know, beam weapons, they um, do more damage as you fire them more at the target. They don't do the damage like crazy right away. Unless you have like an extreme fire rate, which I'm not going to do. But let's move on to the actual build. Okay, dude. Obviously, I need that crit chance, crit damage. Um, status, it's a beam weapon, you can be applying status like crazy, okay. Um, Hornet Strike, Braille, Diffusion, okay. With beam weapons, I don't even know how this crap works, dude, honestly, with the freaking multi-shot. But I know that you want to have more damage than multi-shot on beam weapons because the actual damage does way more than multi-shot. Because multi-shot doesn't add status. Um, it I don't know I guess it just adds more damage but just not as much so my ribbon I got damage multi shot slash slash is completely useless I'd rather have damage multi shot negative damage but I rolled it once I, I said to myself you know what I'm not gonna roll anything better than that let's be honest my luck with ribbons is pretty bad anyway so I'm gonna stick with this freaking gaze ribbon right here um, I've tried different things right here I've tried many different mods. I've tried. Um, I was gonna try this, but I, it's gonna be spinning all over the place. Like the little beam's gonna be flying all over the place. That would actually, it would lower the fire rate. So I don't know if it would equal out or not. But the faster fire rate is definitely a major plus because you'd be doing your um, more damage more fast. If that makes any sense, okay? Um, I tried Gunslinger. It adds, it's like the same effect pretty much it's like the same effect pretty much but I'd rather just run lethal turn um, obviously this is you can't use this when you're using patch charge I mean why would you want to use that if you're using pack seeker anyway come on dude um, you could run hydraulic I tried that it doesn't do as much damage as you think it would do it does it slower and it still does less damage even though you're getting the orange crits so don't invest too much into the crit um, I didn't try a dual stat, although I really doubt it's going to make a big difference anyway. But let me just show you how this thing melts. I'm going to rename this crap the Melt Machine. You're about to see why. Alright, um, max level, come on dude. It's literally about to melt these bums. Good thing about the gaze, it has one meter of punch through, which a lot of people would just overlook. Punch through in this game is a godsend. Like I used to overlook it too. But it's really, really nice. Check this crap out. Merked, dude. If 
freaking melted. Thirty percent crit. Uh, I mean, thirty percent status chance. It's proccing every single time, pretty much. It almost takes a full clip to kill him. Almost, but not quite. If you ask me, this is pretty decent damage. I mean, and the reload speed is really fast too, which I like. It's got a short range, but really fast reload speed. Now let's see something a little bit more um, uh, realistic. Okay, they're gonna be running around. So now we gotta just shoot them in the head like I normally would. Okay. I oh, know they're moving. They're really moving, huh? Still crazy damage. Shoot them in the back. Doesn't even matter. Shoot them on the ground. Doesn't even matter. All the ammo's back. weapon is just a beast of a weapon dude look at that like the more you shoot just the more and more damage it does just more and more and more it's insane Really good weapon. I think there's one still down there, but you get the point. Let's go against the Nox. Um, something I actually I haven't tried this yet, but I remember I was in Hydron leveling this crap up like the scum I am, and I noticed it was killing the Nox so incredibly fast. Like I blinked and they were dead. I was like, what? Like it was insane. Like the amount of speed it killed a level 40 Nox. Like I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Jesus Christ, do you see that? Okay, let's just say his helmet. Holy F, dude. That is a level 165 Nox. Getting utterly obliterated. Just like that. And the best thing about it is it's like 100% accuracy. So if you're shooting it at its head, it's going to get that same little thing going on. Only thing I don't like is like um, some of the weaker enemies, like these arid seekers, for example. I think they'll do it. I'm not sure if they'll do it, but I'll see. Yeah, when you hit them, they like stay like get like pushed back or something. And they just can't take the freaking hit, dude. Yeah, this thing's pretty much a melt machine, though. It's gonna melt um, everything. No, I mean like everything. Um, I don't know who it wouldn't melt. Actually, let's try the corpus. I haven't fought against the corpus yet with it. So it might not melt the corpus. This is not even a corpus build, disclaimer. This is just my all around build. Let's see what actually is. If it doesn't melt them, you know why? It's not even corpus. Yeah, it's kind of a melt. But if I'm going against corpus, I probably wouldn't use the gaze. I'd use the, um, um, catch me anyway. But yeah, this this little gun is um really good, really good gun. Mm, I don't know who it doesn't melt. Oh yeah, let me just show you since people are always like, oh you're not gonna fight level 165, okay? Let's say you've managed to make it up to level I don't know 100 enemies. No, you know what? Not even that. You somehow managed to make it to level 70 enemies. And now you've just seen, I don't know, one of these, 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 one of those. It's just spawning like the whole corrupted gang over here. Alright. You just managed, you just, you just, you're in Mott, okay? You've made it 15 minutes into Mott by some stroke of miracle, okay? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. What? Literally just fell. Literally just falls to the ground, dude. Like insane damage, much? Like literally just dead in seconds. Like in a couple of hits, they're done. 
Like, it's insane, dude. Like, milliseconds, they're done. But they're only level 170, brub. Brub. Mm hmm. That's how I get up to the triple digits. You've somehow made it to triple digits. That's a role play here. Okay. You've made it to the triple digits. You're like, okay, I'm feeling myself now. I'm feeling myself. Actually, let's just see if it'll kill him. Heck no. How much damage will it do if I'm not even. Oh, I did radiation, so it didn't affect him anymore. Nice. Ooh, Leech Xmas, level 100. This is very lucky. Now I get to see how much you'd be like. All right. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, I didn't know the kids were this good. Um, somebody actually told me it was very good. His name goes by Ryan Blooper. Um, he's not Grand Champion Rocket League like me, but he's okay. This weapon is pretty good. Let's just see the test again, just full rank. Honestly, this thing is just fun to use. I mean, it's fun to use anything that's overpowered, to be honest. Dude, that damage scaling is insane. Like from level 100 to 165, you can clearly see a difference. It's insane. I want to get a leech in here and see if I can actually do like one clip or not. I haven't tested it versus a leech yet. I might have to make a new ribbon, I mean a new gaze that has um, more magazine capacity. And yeah, because if I had more magazine capacity, I could shoot for longer, aka more sustained damage. Because 43 is pretty good, but I know with my rattle guts I get like 67 shots. So I can shoot for a really long time before I actually have to like recharge. And with this weapon, the more you shoot, the more damage it does, so I would definitely have to look into that. Right now, I'm kind of lazy. I haven't even ranked up my Tipito yet. So, that's where I'm at right now. One last test. Oh, yeah. I'm going to spawn in some gunners. See if we can get a leech in here. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to get a, a editing software for one of these days. Because I don't like my videos being scuffed. One clip, barely, dude. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, not so fast. Okay, 1.5, 1.0. Just like 1.1, 1.01. 1. 1. Yeah, it definitely needs a bigger magazine capacity. Um, then I have to do a lot of forma again, and I'll see how that works out. But yeah, that's the gaze. Very good weapon. Very, very good. 